What's up guys, uh, Bouquet Beaver here. So this is gonna be the first VOD review that I am doing. I, I'm looking into going into coaching and mentoring for games I have a lot of knowledge on. So this is gonna be a test run. If this goes smoothly, I'm going to be doing another test run. I'm going over uh, X Villain Ghost. Uh, you guys may know him from stream. If you are in stream, you definitely know him. He's one of the mods in chats. He's also another streamer. Uh, so we're gonna be going into his clips right now. He's playing on Gibby for all three clips, I believe. And then uh, we are going to be breaking down from his perspective, and then I'm just going to go in and say a few things, ask him about his perspective, and then we're going to work on uh, kind of molding his perspective to have uh, the right mindset going into these fights, and then the right mindset playing Gibby too. So these are going to be kind of what we're rolling with uh, going into this. Uh, in a second, we're going to pull up X Villain Ghost's voice. He's going to be talking with us, and we're going to be going over this as a group, as a pair. Um, to get the most out of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Without further ado, I'm gonna pull Ghost back up and we are gonna explain how we are gonna actually do this. Uh, Ghost, are you there? What's up, bro? I'm here. Let's okay. do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just completely watch it and I'm just gonna ask you those vague questions. And then after, we're gonna go back through and I'm just gonna do the real like nitpicky things, you know what I'm saying? Where we break down like every little thing, you know what I'm saying? And then we're just gonna, uh, like at the very end, we'll go over everything written down and then we'll just kind of see, like make sure what you got out of it, you know what I'm saying? Does that all make sense? Okay, yeah, sounds good, dude. Cool beans, I all right. I am so excited. <laughs> so we'll start this out and I already let them know that these are all on Gibby. Um, and it's gonna be three fights. Cool. And that was the end of it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. Um. So that was the three different fights. So let's talk overalls. Overall, the shots looked good. The flicks, especially at certain points, looked gorgeous. Like absolutely gorgeous. Like the the flicks were almost night and day, even compared to some of the shots. Okay. Um, so I would say another thing is bubble early, but at this starting point right here, I'm not exactly sure on the bubble call, but the, uh, the, the rest of them, you have to bubble early. Um, another thing overall was armor swap. Okay. You really need to start looking into armor swapping. Because there was a lot of times where, okay. at one point, at the end, you finished that gold okay. box, and you walked by it and batteried. And I think your teammate armor swapped. Like, he took the purple from it. So that's something, okay. like, that would have saved you okay. the, whatever, yeah, five yeah. seconds for the battery or whatever. Um, okay, so let's start going all the way through. Okay. Uh, I had... Uh, any other overalls? Uh, the heal, your healing uh, positioning, and like the usage positioning, because it might not just be healing, like um, even just pushing into this clip, I'll have a, a perfect example of the usage as well. You really got to make sure that either okay. the area is clear, or you're in a safe spot, like you're in a corner with no angles, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, so let's start going straight through. Okay. Uh, the first thing was I thought I didn't know you could just swap like you can just press one and it auto plow out the havoc So that's no issue um, This is so good right here the start of this fight is absolutely perfect ghost you walk up You see these players healing this is literally Heaven to walk up walk up walk up on straight up so he walks up he hits a perfect grenade he has time he actually sees it. Or, okay, did you notice that this was two teams right here? Like, did you notice right off the start that this enemy started the fight and not your teammate? So, I actually didn't know. No, I didn't notice that it was two teams until I dropped the first bubble. I heard in my headset someone coming around the right, and I was like, oh no, there's two teams. So, I actually dropped bubble instead of going to fight left. Because oh, I wasn't sure it was fight. okay, so that's why you dropped the bubble here too. You heard the guy coming up. Um, 
Okay, so first off, that was perfect. Hit the nade, threw the perfect ult. It's a lifeline coming up right here, by the way. That's a lifeline that rolled in. Okay, so right here, I think the bubble was a little bit wasted. This is was what I was talking about with the bubble, because it was just uh okay. So in the in the situation, you have one team completely locked down. You naded them, broke armor, and you threw an alt on top of them. So your alt's coming down, and they had one player that got third partied by this other team. That's one big thing to note, because you walked up, and that third party started the fight, and then your teammates okay. initiated, you know what I'm saying? So this bubble right here could have been saved for this next portion. Obviously, you didn't like need it, need it, but it might have just been something you could use to save, you know? Obviously, just to have in the back pocket. Great shot here when this girl came in, though. Absolutely okay. perfect. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's good. That was mainly because I was See, scared. but like right here, this is a perfect example. You come out to the left side, and there's no cover around you. You see where you're standing right now? Like, you don't have like pills or like, the closest thing is the inside of that, that building right there. That's the only cover you have, because you don't have your bubble. You know what I'm saying? So that would just be why I would say hold it in that situation instead of throw it. Yeah. 100%. A great shot after throwing it. <laughs> uh, right here, you take, you take, I don't know how many shots, four shots to thirst this guy. I would say either just pull out the havoc and laser him real quick, or walk up and one bump him. Don't don't take the time to take three shots from twenty meters when they're all doing thirty. Walk up, do the side pump, and hit him one time with the the one hundred five. You feel me? Uh, okay. a small thing here, which is not like huge, but something to take into consideration later. It, if you have purple, it's always going to let you swap to a lower. So if you're spamming through it without knowing you already have purple, you're always going to swap that and it could really mess you up if you start getting shot because you'll run away from that box with that blue instead of purple. You know what I mean? So really try to take in consideration that you, like, or uh, just when you have purple and gold, you know, th that's when you really need to think about, like, I have the best armor. Like, you really got to not think about swapping unless you know you can tag purple, you know, like when you're not purple. Okay. Cool. Uh, right here uh this just goes back to uh set like guns do you have set uh scopes as well because scopes will do the same thing and slow down like the looting process what i've been trying to do is i've been running like all just the one times hcog perfect I recommend it 100%. <laughs> Unless you're running like uh, snipers or something. I always recommend those. Nice, nice. Just checking. Okay, did you just hear this guy? Yeah, did you just hear that? Too, that makes it kind of hard to be very consistent with what I'm doing is... It makes it consistent is the what I'm running for my weapons. I'm still trying to figure out what suits me the best i know for sure that i'm doing really well with the havoc the peacekeeper and the wingman have both been something i'm trying to get better at but at the same time i'm not there yet you know what i mean so i'm kind of just testing them i, I would say keep the using the peacekeeper I, so I would almost say never head, mind like, i never use a peacekeeper so i don't know how much ammo to have you know what i mean okay. oh okay but i would say keep using the peacekeeper i mean that's something i highlighted before we got in it <laughs> the flicks were looking great okay. especially on that that staircase those flicks were perfect yeah yeah and, but the thing about it is when you're flicking that quick, you can't get in your head because what happens is you flick like that and you miss one and you're like, I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to lose this guy because I just missed that one shot. You know what I mean? And then you start missing three, four in a row, yeah, you know? Yeah. So that's something you really got to take into account. But like your, your, your flicks were, I mean, if you keep using it, it's going to be perfectly fine. Uh, and okay. then with that, I, I, I was waiting for your inventory to pop up because it hasn't popped up yet, but <laughs> I, okay, right here. Um, so I always run two shotgun, two packs of shotgun with 32. Sometimes I would run one. It depends what I'm doing. Um, if I have a ton of, okay. if I'm maxing my light bullets, I'll maybe run one shotgun thing because I'm literally using the 99 until they get like on top of me. So you'll only need one. Uh, but I would usually go two and then okay. three of your main weapon. Uh, actually, speaking of that coming up. So this might have also been why you had the P... Okay, so... In this clip, you hold the Peacekeeper out 85% of the time. Like, you're almost never on the Havoc. Which is, like, a 
I mean, it's a bad habit in the, in these in this area. You know what I mean? Like if you were in Capital City, that's a great habit or a great habit yeah, because yeah. you're going to be around corners and all that. But when you're in open areas, you have to have your long range weapon out or you'll run into the case you just ran into where you pump that guy for 35 times and then you're out of bullets for the next fight. You know what I mean? Or you're reloading. You know what I'm saying? Yes. 100%. Okay. Okay. I always run one PK is meta right now, so you always find ammo after fights. Really good choice, actually. Another reasonable uh, thing to think about is, this was a great point by Chase, uh, running one thing on the PK because everyone runs a PK. So I mean, a lot of times you will find every single box you come into with shotgun bullets. So that's also something to think about, and you'll usually find them on the ground, yeah, they're not that rare. So like, 16 bullets is a pretty good amount of shots on a PK, plus the 6 in the gun, you know? So you're not you're not rocking with any anything wrong. Um, you have two a ultimate accelerants right here. I know you're about to actually. This was uh, one of the things when I talked about healing out in the open. You started using this ultimate accelerator out in the open as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, just next time, if you can think about the situation, yeah. if you have open angles, you're in the wrong spot to heal. You know what I'm saying? Unless you can visually see the angle that they have on you, you know what I'm okay. saying? Because then they'll peek out and you can see or them. You yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, you walk inside, there's literally, like, zero chance you're, you're getting shot right here. But from the outside, it's not safe, you know? <laughs> feel me? Okay, perfect. Um, I'm cheeky, bro. I'm sorry. No, no, you're good, you're good. This is good help for your teammate. And this was a great bubble right here. You see your teammate get lasered, you throw the bubble for the gap. So first off, wait a minute, can we talk about this bubble? This is such a good bubble. I hope you plan this 100%. Because he not only throws the bubble far enough to where if the person goes inside, they can't shoot his teammate. But in this position, it's a double wall. Wait, 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 I just missed it by one second. Ten seconds is too far, holy. Okay, so first look at his teammate get lazy. Okay, so his teammate's 1 HP, he throws the bubble right here, and you see the shots, so there's one on the far side and one wall on this close side. So literally that guy has to go through the bubble, but because there's no, there's no, like, he can't climb on the outside over there unless he slid across, and he engages two purple armor teammates, so. Perfect bubble, right? Here. This is perfect. Especially with the positioning of this. So Thanks, I'm gonna bro. take note in this one. one I <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. And then this girl was low. You obviously had the tags on it. It was a rat. Easy finish. Teammates hype. Okay, and then we're on to the next portion. Okay, this is this is one prime example of not having the havoc out. You keep the peacekeeper out this entire fight until the very end. Like you were living and dying by the yeah, keeper this fight. Example. Like straight up you said, I'm not using my other weapon. And you would have killed this first guy instantly <laughs> if you pulled out the hard. Havoc, dude. I mean, and again, this goes, you had good shots. But this shows the, the timing of having the peacekeeper out or your, your distance weapon, you know. I would almost say the first time you see a 30 from 10 meters plus, yeah, it makes, put it, it away. You know what I'm saying? Sorry about that, Mercy. Great to see you. Yeah, we're going over the, the VOD review. I appreciate you guys. I'm so sorry I'm, I'm like ignoring Chad, but I love you guys. Boo's not talking? No, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just got to finish this. I, I appreciate you guys. It's only five minutes, so it's not that long, but... Okay. Um. So you see them. You got them pinged. Right here. If we go back, you should have your Havoc out until literally right here. That's when maybe you swap out to your peacekeeper because you're running up on them. But all these shots, like if you would have seen them right here, okay. this is yeah, a 30. Yeah. This is a 20 or th this is an 11, you know what I'm saying? This is one of those. So you're not going to get the hits you want, and that's when people blame the peacekeeper. Yeah. They're like, oh, the peacekeeper didn't hit, you know? Okay, right there. So you hit. The 57 is actually not bad. But he ducks out of view, and you see the distance just got, like, 
larger. You know what I'm saying? It went from a five meter to a fifteen meter. You see what I'm saying? Right yeah, there, you swap yeah, out. Yeah. The, the first time you hit an eight right here, you need to swap out. The other guy, to to your to the perspective of okay. of the play, the other guy's gone. You know what I'm saying? I am so sorry about that, brother. All right. Um. So the last thing we left off was pull out the havoc. Obviously, we got that. Okay, just the same point, you'd have to have a guy at this point. Okay, right here. Um, I don't know if the Peacekeeper dragged into, uh, like, also, <laughs> like, the bubble, but you it, it just goes in the bubble early. This was one of the, the overall points. Because right here, you took the 24, and then you went to take it. I believe you take another shot right here. Yeah, you take another 24. <laughs> so, like, you, you just gotta, like, um, take the advantage on that one, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> so, you would just need to throw up the bubble a little bit early, and then, uh, you would obviously have the Havoc out. Good, good. Perfect heal. Definitely abuse the, the heal on the bubble. Okay, and then we're on to the last one. I want to say this is very productive, and you're making me think about my gameplay in a completely different perspective, and I need this a lot. I appreciate it. Nice. I'm glad this is working. I'm glad it's helping, too. This one, I'm so sorry, but I got a lot of stuff to talk about in this one. Or maybe not a lot, but, like, this is that one part that Let's I really it. want to emphasize on. At the start of this, this is perfect. Okay, assess. One guy's knocked. Your teammate's fighting the other guy. Easy kill. Look at the aim, shot the aim. Somebody clip it, dude. <laughs> That's one of those moments. Right here. Okay, so first off, this was the perfect decision. Uh, I don't know if you heard people or if you were doing this out of habit. Either way, this is perfect. Climb up high ground. Climb up high ground and check everything out. There's obviously one more high ground spot, or there's two high ground spots above you right now. Uh, but this was perfect. Just get up top, check around. Right here, this goes back to bubble early. Basically, if they get first shot on you, throw a bubble. You can always reshot out of a bubble, but you can't reshot after they killed you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess that's the perfect way to put it. <laughs> um, yeah, you gotta throw a bubble. But honestly, you kind of make you make me eat my words right here. To, like real quick, just to just to say what I was doing when I was going through this, I heard somebody in the building that i didn't know which door they were coming out of so when this guy hit me i was nervous that they were going to come from behind on roof and kill me from behind that's why i was trying to save bubble but at the same time like this guy almost killed me you know what i mean so right and, and you'd be healthier if you threw the bubble first with that team coming up behind you because if they did come up behind you this guy can't push you in time for you to fight that team behind you and if you're full hp from the bubble early you know what i'm saying so technically, the bubble early would still set you up to fight that yes, that yes, team below you. Point. That's good. Um, but like I was saying, you literally made me eat my words as you laser this guy, and he backs out of the fight. <laughs> so I mean, that was just you bullying that guy's aim at that point, and that was super ballsy. <laughs> this is a very ballsy play of you to try and outgun <laughs> this guy after he got first shots. Um, but yeah, you totally ripped his armor, and his teammate had to back him up. Um. <laughs> But you should have definitely had a bubble before that, especially knowing there's a team below you as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. So that's a hot like some you gotta have, and then you just be set up to hit this this early. Um, okay. Right here is the specific time I was speaking about the flicks, dude. These are gorgeous. You got, man, Apex stole this from you. You should have hit two hundred, and this guy should have been dead in my opinion. These are gorgeous shots. Finish this medkit too. Right here, you don't finish the medkit. Okay, when you're playing bubble and there's a person coming up on you, always play the wall. You gotta get right up on the wall so you can just go in and out of that wall. Like you need to be like literally like hopscotching the wall, you know what I'm saying? So like right here, yeah. you're almost at the middle. Like you're almost on the okay. dot of the middle. But if you're back, you finish the medkit and you, you, you fight this guy full HP, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now, you're too close. You have to break medkit and back up. So actually, I was going to say finish the medkit, but you have to break medkit in that situation. Or you're dead. You know? 
one good pump and you're dead in that situation. So definitely play that wall, you finish medkit, and you fight in full HP. You feel me? Okay, yeah. Okay, and then we go into this. And then, okay, great shot. I don't know how you got robbed for a 12 here. Rob for another 10, dude. These are right on his body. I don't know about that one. That might have been a 10. A 56, dog. Like, these are just robs. Honestly, this man should have been out of here. I don't know what you just hit on that guy. Right here, uh, I mean, you're kind of chilling on this one. I was going to say maybe look to armor swap, but your teammate's right there. So you once you 180, and sorry, teammate, you're chilling. Um, but you definitely got robbed. The Bloodhound, in my opinion, should have been knocked. Good shots. That was the, the exact situation I was talking about. The flips, the flicks, those were gorgeous. That was absolutely perfect. You got robbed. I would have been upset in that situation for not killing that guy. <laughs> Thank you. So that was gorgeous. Good med kit while your teammate's fighting. Oh, right here. This is a point I wanted to make. So you have your ultimate and you know they're low. Right here, if you... So when you're looking right here, if you throw your ultimate on this top corner... You can scoop back and heal on the top portion of this roof while your alt hits the edge right there. And if you continue the clip, this Bloodhound and, and Bangalore were healing outside, like in the open, in just smoke. So the alt literally kills both of them in that situation, you know what I'm saying? But also, wow. not, not in that aspect, it also breaks off that. contact too. So you could full heal while your alt's going off. So it applies pressure and you full heal in that situation. You know what I'm saying? And even in this situation, you would have killed both. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. And then once you further this, this guy was standing outside because you were right about the team underneath you. And they stayed underneath you the whole fight. So this guy literally would have just, they would have both just died to your ultimate. Just like, because. <laughs> so just something really to think about, like zoning and pressuring while you heal with your ultimate. You know what I mean? Two good flicks way to recover right here climb back up climb back up and start going back on top right here you move move into this corner and just corners are not safe <laughs> just always okay. know corners are not safe yeah yeah it's just not a safe play and if you get back up top okay, you can okay. visualize <laughs> everything like you start scanning everything and then you can you can assess your situation right here you have no information there could be a full three running at you from the other side of the compound you know what i mean from that res Something like that. Or a team could be resing, you know? Yeah, that There's all sense. kinds of stuff you can... Information you can be getting from the roof while healing, you know? Just something to think about. The high ground heal. Um... I don't think you would have actually got hit right there as well if you were on the roof. I think you would have saw that team... And you wouldn't have taken this this shot. But also, actually, it would have set you up for the other thing. It would have set you... If you were on the roof right now, it would have set you up for the end of this clip as well. Because actually, there was a team pushing you from the other side. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah, there was, yeah. So definitely always man like try to mandatory stay high ground. But if not, you know, obviously keep pressuring. Yo, what's good, baby? What up, Gary? What up, Tom? Rugs, I love you. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. Pard, you know I love you, man. Thank you so much for being here. Cord, Peanut, anybody else looking? I love you guys. We're just about to finish this. We're at one minute, three minute, three seconds, and then we'll go over everything at the end. Um. Okay, so good shots on that guy as well. Uh, You would have assessed the situation. You wouldn't have taken that hit. You would have probably been more healthy. You're reloading. Right here, this is perfectly fine because you know the caustic ult is zoning. Um, I would heal over thirst or right here. You got to think armor swap you, d you don't know what armor like you didn't even check the box if that's a purple box You got to go armor swap instead of healing. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're gonna take the time to thirst go go get go like check the loot You know what I'm saying? Especially if you have a teammate over there in the, the area is clear. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like armor swapping is one of the Worst things that I don't do right now enough. Like I hardly ever do it. Mercy, you have a great night. Thank you so much for being here. I feel. 
Um, just something to always think about. Just think about the sp or if 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 you're not thinking about armor swapping. Wait wait wait! If you're not thinking about armor swapping, go. Uh, think about how can I heal the fastest, and what's the fastest option to heal a full shield. Armor oh, swapping. Like if you did the time, it's like uncomparable. It's like five seconds to, to instant. You yeah. know what I mean? Yep. So always think about like fastest way I can heal right now. Box right next to me. Let's roll. So you would have armor swapped, and even worse, it was a gold chest. Definitely go check gold no matter what. Heal. You broke line to the other door. You can obviously slide right if you want to break line again. That was perfect. He actually even came in through that door. You press him with full HP. Good flicks. Finish. You gotta armor swap right here. It was gold. That's twice. That's two in the same clip that you went by a gold box. It's gotta be the quickest thing, you know what I'm saying? Or, I mean, it might be just like... Like the opposite of, of like, like, are, is it, you don't want to be lasered. Is that what you're thinking? Like how many times have you been shot off boxes? Is that something that happens to you a lot? Or like, what would cause this bad habit? Um, I think my biggest issue is when I get into a box, I don't grab the armor right away. I look through it and then I get hit off the box and get killed because of it so i have like a like a phobia of <laughs> quickly grab the armor you know? and it's reasonable you gotta go through it because it was the same thing on me it was even worse for me on console because i have to go even I'm, slower with the controller so I'm a loot goblin dude i need to stop that no you need to be the opposite and be a loot goblin <laughs> you're running by crates like you ran by two crates after killing the people you know what i mean so it's got to be the opposite <laughs> take it all <laughs> But definitely something to work on. Get the, uh, the armor swamp. And then this is the exact situation you would have been prepared for if yeah, you were on top. Huge yeah, yeah, armor swamp for sure. And then this information right here, this goes back to bubble early. You can see this guy right now. Or, I mean, based on the, the quality right now, you might not be able to see him on, on this vid. But he's, he's right there, I believe. Is that him? That is him. This is a guy. So I'm not sure if you saw him right away. That might be one thing that might have slowed this down. But right here, the second two shots go off and you see a nade, you gotta throw the bubble. Like, it's gotta be like... Like, possum bubble, almost, you know what I mean? Like, instant. Yeah. Especially with multiple, like, not only shots, but you also have nades right there. At this point, you're bubbling for information. You see one guy that's shooting at you already, so that's got the so fluster. Two, I, I kind of freaked out because what I wanted to do was I wanted to. Or go ahead. No, no, no. I was. I was stopped. <laughs> what I was saying, what I wanted to do was I wanted to throw all where they were and then bubble in between. But I didn't make it in time because I didn't expect them to be as close as they were. I kind of like freaked out right here. Oh, okay. Um, if they have first shot, you're almost never going to get your bubble off. So always try, or not your bubble, your ultimate. Um, either they're going to yeah, push you so from out of it, the or they're going to, um, they're just going to shoot you and then take a few hits of it, you know? It only does 40 per hit. So if you haven't done any damage... A, a person can literally just stand in your ultimate. Yeah. So that's also got to be something to think about when you're throwing these. Because like that, this wouldn't... If you did, like, if you did get your ultimate off early, oh, wow. you would you would have had to yeah. get out of... Like, you would have still had to... You'd been in the same situation, basically, you know? It's got to be, like, a, uh, either, like, a, a white armor throw or, like, a, a pressure or, like, a, a, a zoning type deal. You know what I mean? William, thank you so much for being here, man. I truly appreciate it. You have a great night. Thank you so much for coming over that raid. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Cool. Okay, and then... See, so right now, you're throwing bubble 
Ed, you have less than white HP. You don't have to watch anymore. <laughs> um, okay, so this was probably just flustered at this point. <laughs> Which is no big deal. I mean, that's just experience. You'll, you'll be in these situations. Um, I don't know what storm this is. But something before you even start this fight is recognize what storm you're in. Because if this is first, first storm, you're not taking damage, you know what I mean? Or you're taking very, very little damage. So if you have like a, a set up inventory with like a, a, the norms, at least like one white healing stack and one shield stack, you know? You're going to be chilling in these storms, you know? I feel like a lot of people don't recognize how little storm does to you in these situations. Like it's not going to insta kill you, you know what I mean? So you can always play Storm in these situations. Because I think this is only a third ring, yeah. second ring. So that's just definitely something to think about. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this is third. Um, So that's going to be all the clips. Uh, Is there any questions you have? And then I'm just going to go through what we went on. Hello, hello. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, there we go. My bad, dude. <laughs> no, okay, you so what were you, what'd you say on the very did, last part? Did you have any questions? I'm going to go over it afterwards. Um, I think my only, my main question would be how, like, am I doing okay, do you think, with a Havoc Peacekeeper? Would you recommend, like, how do you recommend, do you recommend doing everything in firing range, like, when you're testing out new weapons instead of, like, pulling them up and just trying them, unless it's, like, definitely not ranked, but... Do you even recommend going into pubs and constantly getting into fights, or do you think you I would get better training in like firing range? So Have you read patch fast. notes? Um, I've read some of them. Um, I would say look for meta, because havoc's. I mean, havoc's good, but it's it's definitely not meta. Yeah, it's kind of um, down on the list right now too. Uh, like at, at for so, like if they're your ultimate preference, use them. You know what I mean. Okay. Like, if it's your ultimate preference, uh, the biggest thing with the Havoc is you, I would say, go to firing range, and you have to do recoil control, because you can't do, you can't do just people running around without recoil control, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I would say, go, this is what I did with the 99, this is what I did, or the Wingman obviously doesn't have recoil. I did this with the 99 for a, a bunch of hours, but you just go, you set up, you're gonna first you're gonna line it up with the head and you're just gonna hold the, the shot and just kind of watch it most okay. of them have like a set recoil line basically and it's not exactly the same but it'll have basically the same recoil every single time and you're gonna want to go no attachments i went or go go white uh maybe white stop because i went white stabilizer like when a... i did this just like a, a like a single site like a 1x site oh site for sure definitely use any site that you prefer um okay. but just like with the stock or anything that improves the the recoil you want either at white or off i did it all okay. it with a full white r99 because then okay. when you get the purple you're it's going to be so much easier you know what i'm saying okay yeah, so if you yeah, can yeah. get used to the the harder recoil you're going to be better with the higher the higher items okay. um and what was the second weapon you said or Havoc PK. Havoc, or PK is 100%. Probably either yeah. a mandatory or if you're not sniping, it's basically mandatory. <laughs> I think I think my preference is probably going to be Prowler um, with Select Fire, but it's I feel like it's hit or miss lately if I find Select Fire, and I don't do as good with Burst as I do with Full Auto. So for me, it's kind of like, do I want to grab this and risk not having it for the first and second fight? You know what I mean? So... Um, I, I think I'm just like kind of stuck right now. I need to figure out what I'm comfortable with and get good at things that are meta instead of trying to force things that aren't, you know? I Well, yeah, 100%. And I mean, like, the Havoc isn't that much of a force, especially with, like, them taking out turbochargers, and they, they made it a little bit better with the buff. Um, yeah. So it's not like it's not like you're using a terrible weapon, and it's, and it's yeah. not it's going to halt you from grinding or anything or climbing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that also kind of goes into like ammo. Not a lot of people are running it, so like yeah. things like that will start becoming issues instead of like you know like missing shots and such. You know, because yeah, you could yeah. be a hundred percent. But if so you that's, that's a good question. Like I feel like it's kind of bittersweet because 
I actually started running the Havoc, one, because I liked it, but two, because nobody really runs energy like they do R9, right? If somebody sees an R9, they run it, which means they're grabbing all the light ammo as quickly as possible because R9 is just a complete, you know, bucket right. of bullets all the time. And so I feel like for me, anytime I run like R301, for instance, I don't really run R9 too often, but if I run R301, it's hard to constantly have ammo because I have two other teammates who are also running light and running. Well, and that's got to be on your teammates too, though. Yeah. Um, you, I mean, like, like if you, you couldn't say that with, if you were playing with me, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like if that's we were, exactly like if we were saying. always talking about it, like, you know. That would never be the situation because like obviously exactly. we splitters things like that so like if anything to the counterpoint it would be the opposite playing with the team you know what i mean because everybody yeah. would have light bolts yeah true so i mean random wise yeah you probably never want to run the havoc but okay. running with the team i mean you probably i mean even running with the team with the havoc you're not going to run in that situation because <laughs> people will be like yeah. i'm not using this here's the energy you know exactly yeah it's a big difference you're right sick Thank you, bro. Cool. Um, just the the few things I wrote down and some of the things that, like, overall, I would say uh, just keep an account and kind of work on, you know? Yeah. Um, so the heal and then use items in good cover, like break okay. line of sight every time you yeah. heal or use, like, an item. Um, bubble early. That's okay. going to be a huge one. Uh, there was a lot of times you would take two, three, full armor, 75% armor before you threw bubble, you know? Yeah, yeah. Gotta keep gotta keep healthy before the bubble. Um, use your primary weapon a little bit more often, especially yeah. when you have the PK. Obviously, if you're swapping it, if yeah. you're practicing with the PK, that's one thing. But like, if you're just running games using the PK, you gotta yeah. use your primary and then swap okay. at the appropriate time. You know. Yeah. Um. Uh, positioning would be, I mean, that kind of goes into like healing, using items and cover. Uh. Cover also could mean high ground, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So definitely always look for the high ground. Uh especially in that the, the last example was the corner. Just climb okay. up and keep that high ground so you can keep all the information. It would have halted okay. the, the rest of what happened. Yeah, yeah. Um Armor swap, obviously that's huge. Uh that. quick armor, quick yeah. uh quickest way to heal. Um and then appropriate ammo uh with this one i would say the biggest thing to think about is how many shots do you have per clip yeah so if you have six shots per clip 16 shots is a lot yeah if you have 27 shots per clip 16 shots is nothing you know what i mean yes yeah yeah so just always keep into account like no 64 shotgun bullets because you have six shots you know what I mean? Yeah, yep. Uh and that would have been the last one. Um good flicks. We can go over some of the Thanks. positives. The flicks were great. Yeah. The shots were excellent, honestly, all the way throughout. Um Thanks. Good team plays. You had a lot of plays where you recovered against like you didn't recover against team you helped your teammates recover in multiple situations. Okay. Yeah. Um yeah. And then you did have, so you did like a half and half with positioning because the one time you got on top and you had full, you had like really good positioning, you held the top and you healed on top. And then the second time you got down. So just really mandatory eyes, like the good positioning over um, like bad position. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool, man. That would be it. Anything you want to, so anything no. else you want to? No, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I just, I just really appreciate you doing this because I feel like it's one thing for us to be playing and to hear like a little like, oh, you could do this, you could do that. It's That's one thing, but to see my own plays. And like now, when you first started telling me about this, like I already started to get into your mindset. Like I, I would see things, I'm like, oh, I have a feeling he's gonna talk about this, he's gonna talk about that, and you did. But it's also very good because it's, like i want your mind you know what i mean like and that's super want, good that you were thinking about him beforehand right like that's good yeah. that you were like oh he's gonna say something about that because you already yeah. knew about it yeah that's really yes. really good but i feel like i noticed it i i i think i've got a lot better playing with you too because you don't hesitate to tell me when i'm doing something i shouldn't be which i well like you haven't got a lot better playing with me you've gotten a lot better period dog that's not just playing with me that's playing more hours too and yeah playing a little bit more time in apex 
Yeah, yeah. I, I just really appreciate you doing this. I'm, I'm glad because it's going to make me better, and it's going to make it also better for you because when we play, I'll be able to carry more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course, man. I just want to see you succeed, man. You're a stud. You. Okay, I'm going to probably do my halftime here shortly. So cool. thank you so much, man. I hope this Thanks, helped. Bro. I truly yeah. appreciate you sending me the clips and letting me go over them. Yeah. I had a great time. I honestly really, really love this. Um, it was cool writing stuff down and stuff. I'm really excited. So let's go. Uh, thank you so much, man. Yeah, I'll definitely catch up with you a little bit later. Coach Boo. Okay, cool. Late. You have a good one, man. Deuces. Okay. And that was it, guys. If you learned anything, if you like that, if you if you want to see more uh, mentoring, teaching. Uh, any type of content like this where we go over clips if you would like some of your clips reviewed maybe I don't know maybe hit the comment section maybe hit the discord you know? um, I am gonna do probably a full gameplay with ghost um, another time to get like a more in-depth view of everything you know what I mean where we go over like the looting process like the movement the rotations you know what I mean and then like positioning yourself to win um, but that was an excellent first time. I, like I said, I had a great time. I hope I hope Ghost learned a bunch. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And if you didn't already know, I am live streaming this. Uh, the 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 banner will be over there. Over nope, I can't get my finger right. It's gonna be over there somewhere, like on the top middle part. Um, but I'm streaming that twitch.tv forward slash boo underscore kpv. I stream 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. every single day. I'm so sorry to everyone in the chat that I had to take away the chat box, and I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys also learned anything or everything. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I'm definitely putting the finger guns in there too. Temptation.